Hello, this is SJWN123, and today I have a bit of a tutorial for you guys on a new smelting machine that I have created. <laughs> so, I don't know what to call this. This, I guess you could call it the uh, Smeltomatic 9000, or yeah, call it the Smeltomatic 9000 if you ever want to refer to this. And, and this is as you can see, quite a bit different from the original uh, furnace design in which the, the original furnace... Uh, blah, 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 blah. Sorry, I'm stuttering a bit. The original furnace design for the automatic furnace, which is simply you put your items that you want to smelt in the top, and you put your coal in the middle, and it'll smelt everything, and if you want, you can just put a, a hopper and a chest underneath it, and you know you just get items now this one this one's obviously a bit more complicated and is it does more so don't think that this is like just a non efficient alternative so what this does is it's going to make use of all that wood that you have and you're never going to use so you know those giant spruce trees well now you just mine three of those and suddenly you can make probably upwards of a thousand items just with that wood by turning it into charcoal as you can see we have some charcoal going up here to demonstrate don't worry that's part of the thing too it's not for show none of this is for show <laughs> keep that in mind all right so how does this work so first of all all you're gonna put all your wood up into this top chest and if I get some wood I would I recommend using spruce wood because it's the easiest to get in my opinion and you know <laughs> just mine a couple trees and then you get so you put your wood in here and the machine will with the hoppers put it through these three hoppers will do then put it into this furnace and this furnace is going to smelt that wood down to make charcoal it, you will need to put a char piece of charcoal or two in here when you first start it but after that you should be fine for the rest of your life and once it has been smelted it will go down into this hopper and into this hopper and from here it will either go down to this little arm where it will smelt your items you put your items in this chest and the items will go down and they will be smelted here in this furnace or what it will do it will go down this um, Oh, sorry, my voice is a bit odd today. Or it will go down these hoppers down to this dropper, which is attached to a clock, and it will shoot items down into this item elevator, which will go up and deliver the extra charcoal up to the top, where it will go into this hopper and then go back into this furnace to keep the cycle going. So you never need to do anything with this except put a few pieces of charcoal in the beginning and then every year or so add a couple stacks of wood in here now when this is fully f when this um this system about the max it will have a ma about a max uh charcoal it, it will be able to hold is about 51 stacks that's a little bit less than a double chest so just fill up well don't fill up just like these first five or six rows or I'd, I'd recommend five rows. You don't want to fill up this last one unless you really want to push this thing to its limit, but I don't know why you would ever need to smelt like 50 bazillion stacks of wood to make charcoal. Anywho, so that's how many stacks of items of, or of charcoal it will be able to hold. And that's the equivalent of 3,264 pieces, you know, if you want to get really specific. And it can smelt up to 26,112 items. Can your normal furnace mechanic do that without having to be refilled? Eh? No, no it cannot. Unless you're going to fill it with charcoal. Like, you're going to fill like the whole thing with charcoal. But this thing, you don't need to bother smelting charcoal to do it because it does it for you. Or it'll 
hold 408 stacks of items. But, I mean, look at this number. 26,000. I don't know when you're going to need that many items, but when you do, this machine can handle it. So if you wanted to build a giant castle, and you needed ton of, tons of stone brick, just drop off about, I don't know, five stacks of wood, and drop off with like a double chest of s stone in here, it will get smelted and deposited into this chest. Now the only thing about this, uh, this very simple... Uh, machine here is that you can just barely reach this top chest to put in the wood so if, and it's a little bit ugly but this can easily be changed if you want to add simply another item elevator that goes up simply do the same thing as I have here have this hopper attached to a dropper it shoots it into a water stream that makes a right turn and it's on ice and it will go to the double fence surrounded on all sides by the solid block and then have a transparent block such as glass up to here and up to a water stream and just you know do the same thing as is up here and you will have an almost invisible machine that you just put stuff in and it takes stuff out that's pretty much how this works uh, if you have any questions put them in the comments I will try and answer as many as I can if I can and this machine is fairly easy to make you just simply redstone clock I'll give you one last overview of the uh, droppers so you can position them correctly all right <laughs> so you have this top one in which your wood goes into and that one filters down into a into the furnace so this top one goes directly to the furnace on top of the furnace by the way not into the side the side is where the coal goes into and then you this furnace on the bottom of it you're gonna have one hopper leading into another another hopper system that leads to this furnace which is where your items are going to be smelted and then beneath that hopper in which the charcoal is going to smelt that beneath that hopper you're gonna have another hopper that goes into your uh, dispenser or your dropper and next to that, you're gonna have your uh, you're gonna have your uh, redstone clock. Sorry, and this can be adjusted depending on how many furnaces you have. You can do this with multiple furnaces. However, it gets really complicated and it gets harder to compact. Keep that in mind. And then it goes to an item elevator. And if you're not quite sure how to build this based on this image that I have showing you to you now, then just go look it up on YouTube. It's very easy to make you just need ice so if you don't have a silk touch pick mm, dumb luck you might be able to do it without one but I'm not gonna try sorry and then it simply goes up and then you have you place another water stream above directly above the items and it goes down into this hopper which goes down on top of the hop on, on top of this hopper Make sure that it's on top of this one, that's important. And it goes into, it's facing into this one. And that's it. Uh, I'm SJWN123, and this is the, what did I call it? I called it the Auto Smelter 9000 or something like that. Anywho, have a good day all, and if you have any questions, uh, be sure to get them to me, and I'll do my best to answer them. Good day.